What's going on, nerds? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We got ourselves a Regera here. Now, this is a insane hypercar. This is this is it's it's more than a hypercar. It's it's free real estate. Now, really quick, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel recently. It's been insane. I get like almost a thousand subscribers a day, especially if I mention this at the start of the video. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe to the channel. I'm very close to reaching 200,000 subscribers and that's what I'm aiming for before the end of the year. And it's nuts how fast the channel is growing. So thank you all of you guys who have subscribed and uh, thank you to all of you new guys that are checking out the channel for the first time. Hopefully I'll see you back again. Anyway, let's get back to the video. It's a very special car this. Now, the reason why it is such a special car is because this is technically a one-gear car. Well, two gears if you count reverse as another gear. And it's literally built to be incredibly fast in a straight line. And that's pretty much it. So, as you can see, top speed here, 244.2 miles an hour. I think the fastest I've been with this thing is about 246. I could even change my final drive to go even faster than what it can do now. So, it's, it's an incredible car. This is a, an insane machine. And, uh... The reason why I decided to take this car out here, now, is to turn it into a drift car. I mean, now uh, you may be wondering, like, why would I do something like that? Because it's such an odd, odd car to turn into a drift car, that's why. I love building odd drift cars. Or drift cars out of odd cars. And one of the things I ended up checking out with this thing is that it can't actually have drift suspension. So this might make it one of the oddest and weirdest cars I've ever built for drifting. Because this is not at all a car that was supposed to go sideways. It's a car that's supposed to handle well and it's supposed to have a really, really fast acceleration and a really, really good top speed. That's what this car is built for. And obviously the looks. The looks are just insane with this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing into a drift car. So, as you can see, it's very, very fast. Actually, let's see how fast we can get this thing to go. I'll mess with my gears. Because I kind of can. We'll bring that up to like 300 miles an hour. That 270. So it's stuck at around the 270 mark. So we'll keep it there. Like on the chart, I pretty much maxed it out right now. And it continues to accelerate. Like no tomorrow. Oh my god, it's still going. Wait, actually. Can we get this thing to 270? We'll do, we'll do a 270. Well, now run. And I may just leave the transmission settings like that and just take it out drifting. So I'll have a car that can do 270 miles an hour in a straight line. But also, it does accelerate as quickly though, as you can see. Off the line. It also feels very weird that it's only one gear. Top speed is higher, acceleration obviously is lacking since I've changed my final drive with this thing. 260, no problem. There's a 270. Yeah, 270 with ease. 271, 271 miles an hour. It's a very, very fast guy. I'm taking it to 4 Challenge. Can this 270 mile an hour what? <laughs> Can this 270 mile an hour car get, I don't know, should we say it? I'm gonna say it. Can we get half a million points on the needle climb going downhill? I mean, adding drift suspension on the car is automatically gonna make it a lot easier to slide. But I don't know if it's gonna be as good as, obviously, like, you know, your form Well, it's not gonna be as good as, like, your Formula Drift cars and stuff like that. But, like, can it be close to those in, in point-wise when I'm drifting this thing. So, uh, we can't change anything to do with the engine. However, we can change suspension, you know, weight and all that sort of stuff. Uh, as for our tires, we can also change the type of tire compound. It is mid-engined and it is rear-wheel drive. I may leave it the way it is with the tires that it has on now. Um, we'll see what it drives like with those. I can also change my tire width if I really want to do anything with that. Like I said, I'm gonna leave everything the way it is now with the, with the tires and all that sort of stuff because I feel like, especially with the gear, like the single gear that this thing has, it's gonna be a little bit different. But yeah, race tires, rally tires, or not tires, suspension, drifts, uh, <laughs> springs and downpours. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then we have our drift suspension which lowers this thing so much. 
But now we have full adjustability of all of that stuff. And it makes it makes the one-to-one. -one, um it, well, it puts the one-to-one -to, -one to shame pretty much. 1,500 horsepower, 2,000 newton meters of torque, and it weighs 1,357 kilos. It's a little rear biased when it comes to weight distribution. Um, as you can see here, it's 46% over the front and 54% over the rear. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I guess that's that's it. That's the only thing we can actually do to this thing, other than changing the tires. But I'm going to leave the tires the way they are, like I said. I don't know what it's going to be like with this, this gear ratio here. It does have torque, but the gears are so spread. Well, the gear. I can't really say that the gears are spread out, can I, anymore? It's literally one gear. The final drive, the one gear, it's so stretched out. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the top of the hill, and I'll also wait until it's daytime, and then I'll go downhill and then see how many points I can actually squeeze out with this thing, with no tune on it. And then obviously afterwards, um, come downhill. All right, it's pretty much daytime, you guys can see what's happening. Let's take this thing downhill and see what can we do here with this this thing. It's so weird being so low on the revs as well. Right. This thing with momentum. It actually feels really, really easy. This torque so low in in the in the revs. Makes this thing super usable. And because it's all one gear, I don't have to worry about changing gears or anything like that. What gear I have to be in for specific corners and all that sort of stuff. I can even clutch kick this thing. This, this is, this is crazy. Yeah, it's so, so maneuverable, so easy. I, I genuinely did not expect this thing to be so, so easy to slide. Oh, there it goes. I found its limit. I found its limit. I spun it. That's okay. My aim here was for half a million points, but I don't think I'll be able to do it this run. I'll say about 450. Yeah, we'll see. Well, maybe, maybe slightly more than 450 actually. I spun it again. I almost lost it again. Oh, half a million points is very doable in this thing. 470,000 points with spinning out and everything. Okay, let's try this now again. Um, I did end up going downhill slightly. I think I made it about like a third of the way. Then I had a knock at the door and I had a parcel that came. Then I ruined my run. So let's hopefully not get any distractions now and slide this downhill. So now I have a tune on this car. Uh, we'll see what it drives like. Um, I've already driven it, like I said, about a third of the way down. And then I had to just run downstairs very quickly. It's it's good. It's good to drive. It's very, very simple with the drift suspension. A, a lot of cars, I mean, you can make this argument about any car um, that has drift suspension in this game. It's just, it's a bit too, it's a bit too easy, right? There are some people that, you know, they consider drift suspension to be a good thing, then some people that consider it to be a bad thing. Um, I think we should definitely be uh, allowed to adjust our steering angles and all that sort of stuff. I feel like drift suspension is a good thing in this game. But it makes a lot of bad drivers, uh, drivers, uh, bad drivers, uh, feel good uh, when they're drifting, and I'm sort of one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it definitely improves the way this thing drives. Ah, oh, I messed it up. I was. I need to talk about the, the single gear as well. I need to talk about that single gear. So. There are tunes for specific cars, even Formula Drift cars. I know that there's a tune called, I think, the Godlike Drift tune or something like that, um, where you can uh, drive the Viper 
I spun it again. It's that one gear. It's that one gear that messes me up. So, like I said, it has a bunch of um has a bunch of bad things about having a one gear. So, like I said, the Viper has a one gear tune um, where you can go ahead and dr drift it down this mountain with ease, right? With ease. But that one gear is not the same as this. You don't have 2,000 newton meters of torque going literally the entire way. Like, this literally has one gear that can do 0 to 270 miles per hour, right? I can change that. I can definitely get it to be a lot shorter than what it is now, and I think it will be uh, a lot better if I do that, if I was just tuning this thing for drifting only, but I wanted to have a tune on this car that I, I could still do 270 miles per hour in a straight line, but also be able to squeeze out a stupid amount of points going downhill on this run. So that's pretty much what this tune is all about. So pretty much identical to what I've done before. A lot of mistakes, though, still. Um, I think with some better driving and probably a, a different person behind the steering wheel, this can get yeah, half a million points, uh, no problem. But and it's faster on corners now as well, still. Like I said, a little oversteer bias as you can see. Get it to go sideways a little bit too easily, but that's pretty much what I ended up building it for. Um, but it can still do 270 miles an hour, without a doubt. It's, it's a very, very fast car. It's very, very fast car, and having this thing as a drift car is just so stupid and unusual. But I wanted to try it. I wanted to try to see if I can build this thing as a drift car, and I could. So, that's going to be it from me. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on the social medias. Links to those are down below, as usual. And, right, now I've turned this thing into a submarine. Anyway. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.